bantamweight matchup between Valentina Shevchenko and Amanda Nunes. So here she is, two division UFC champion Amanda Nunes, and ice water in her veins doesn't even begin to describe it. There's just something about Amanda Nunes on fight night, whether she's staring across at Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg, it doesn't seem to matter. She puts the focus on her, and skill for skill, she might be the best in the world. And it comes from that, right, John? Because what intimidates you when you stood across from the biggest stars the sport has to offer? She goes out there with an idea of how she's going to approach the fight, regardless of the opponent. And in most cases, she is approaching these fights with one thing on her mind, and that's brutality. And you watch that in her finishes. She demolished Ronda Rousey. She busted up Misha Tate and then knocked out Chris Cyborg. Amanda Nunes is a savage. We always talk about MMA being the fastest growing sport in the world. Women's MMA might be the fastest growing sport in the world, and no one has been a bigger beneficiary, of course, than one Amanda Nunes. Well, she's one of the best in the women's game now, and historically, Valentina Shevchenko. She's already got a UFC Flyweight Championship to her credit, and she will look to bolster her legacy yet again here tonight. Not only is she one of the best, she's one of the nastiest. Who has a gun tattoo on the side of their hip? And she goes out there and she's got that thing loaded. That gun to me symbolizes the right hand and the right kick of Valentina Shevchenko. She's the first, she's a great counter striker. She sets traps beautifully. And if you overextend or you attack too quickly, she will finish you on the feet and she can also finish you on the ground. Just a phenomenal mixed martial artist is Valentina Shevchenko. And if she gets a first round knockout tonight, DC has agreed to get that gun tattooed on his midsection. <laughs> it won't right? show, it won't show under the fat. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda, the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? This is where I want to go. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop for tonight's great UFC event. Big body kick land. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch, so both girls landing right out of the chute. Well, clearly she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early. Mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished. Even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight. Great timing on that takeoff. Oh, her ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. That was coming in. Nice strike. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, straight right. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. <laughs> Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Nunes. Beautiful entry as she lands the double leg takedown. Oh, 
All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Nunez is in full guard now. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. All right, so Amanda Nunez getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunez stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. 20 seconds left. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, that's a beautiful escape and reversal by her there. Unbelievable sweep. She did a fantastic job of manipulating the weight to change the positions. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from. But, John, it's going to be mostly kicks. Right. She landed them over and over again found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. You know she's landing way too many body shots. What's that about? Come on, look alive out there. Stay alert. Stay alert. So five minutes down, here we go Ready? with the start of round two. Ready? Valentina Shevchenko versus Amanda Nunes. Nice punch by Nunes. Oh, she blocks the punch. Oh, Shevchenko with a beautiful one-two there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up, DC. I mean, she's going to follow it up. Val that's what Valentina does. She's a sniper. She picks you apart. When you start to find comfort, Valentina puts you right back in an uncomfortable situation. It looks like maybe she'll go to the hook here. She does, and she lands. She throws this punch so efficiently. She has no wasted action on this technique. So we call on the fight stats here on officially 49 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Well, essentially landing two out of every three strike attempts, 66% the accuracy rate against Valentina Shevchenko. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground and pounce. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Nunez has got full mount now. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Over there, I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After making such a massive entry. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions. Looking for a guillotine. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. 
finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to behold. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her... Her work there, beautiful straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Valentina Shevchenko. Total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. And in terms of the accuracy, landing with a 68% efficiency rate against Valentina Shevchenko. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Nice control in that collar top. And a massive elbow lands around the ball. Oh, she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. She is certainly doing that. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Moore just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. All right, full guard now, DC. She's on the bottom. What is she trying to do? Well, she's got to throw up submissions to try to put her opponent on awareness. And these submissions will be used to reverse the position. Even if it gets defended, it will create space for her to try to get back to her feet or maybe to steal a sweep and trick her opponent. Big kick land. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for lost time. Beautiful punch. Nice combination there by Shevchenko. Punctuates it with the kick, and if you're going to stand and trade with Shevchenko, better tighten up that defense. Yeah, but that's usually what... Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh! Whoa! She's, she's wobbling now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. 20 seconds to go in the fight. And forth we go. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Amanda the Lioness Nunes! All right, so pretty clean effort out of her, really, for